Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the basics of hot strings and how hot strings can be used as autocomplete, autocorrect, or accent word, or uh, insert special symbols or run programs. If you're interested in this topic, then please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Hot strings are really useful, even though I don't really use it all that much, but I can see how it's it going to, it will add a lot of value to a lot of different people, especially if you do a lot of typing. Hot strings are, are usually used for autocomplete, autocorrect, and some other special cases, like when you try to insert uh, special characters that are not easily and readily available on the usual keyboards. So without further ado, I will just quickly show you how you can create hot strings. So hot strings start with two columns and I've I will just give it a high and you end the hot string with two columns as well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type out some random tags because you the to type enter for hot string to run. Now, if you create a hot string with two columns consecutively, then what's going to do is so let me go ahead and run this and type hi. My hot string will run when I press enter. So you saw just now that hi has been removed and it's been replaced with the text starting from the empty space here. And that's what hot string essentially does. Now, if you don't want the enter key to be pressed for the hot string to run, then you can provide a star sign in between the first column and the second column. Now, this time, let me just call this hello. Does not require you to press the enter key. Now if I go ahead and run this script and go hello, now the last character is obviously an O, I haven't pressed it, but if I go ahead and press now, it's going to remove the word hello and replace it with does not require to press the enter key. So this is the basics of hot strings. Now I've mentioned to you that you can use hot strings as a means to autocomplete. So let me just demonstrate to you how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hot string that doesn't require the enter key and go Juho at sign and make this produce my full fake email address. And then an another one that goes Juho and hashtag to produce a, a, pho a phone number. And another one to uh, perhaps go to her zoom to produce the zoom um, meeting ID, for instance. Now, if I go ahead and run this hot string um, and type out Juho at, it's going to show me the email, Juho number, it's going to convert it to my phone number and Juho Zoom is going to give me the Zoom meeting ID. All right, let me just clean this up. All right, next thing I'm going to explain is autocomplete. Let me just go to my web browser. Now there is a, a script that is available online if you go to this URL. And this script is a, a script written by this guy called Jim back in 2006. And it's basically a, a long script that contains a lot of hot strings that are designed to help you autocorrect common, commonly misspelled words. So if I go ahead and copy the script and save it into my uh, site and hit run. So basically, if you go down, you'll see a list of commonly misspelled words 
down here and uh, and I think down there somewhere there is also capitalize capitalizing the uh, say February capitalization of the days and the months so if I go ahead and head and create a new blank script and type for instance or type April and space then it converts the first letter of April into a capital letter and I think accidental tally for example okay so that auto corrects it so if you do a lot of typing and the tool that you type on does not have an autocorrect you can run this auto hockey script to have that autocorrect working always in the background and you can obviously add anything else down here that you commonly misspell and you don't want it misspelt all right so um, you can also accent the words so for instance when you have the word fiance now okay let me go ahead and create it so fiance if you type it out it's going to be spelt as fiance right but sometimes if you want to go fancy you want to accent the last character e as that in order to do that you can also use heart string so let's go ahead and create one and if you tie make it so that if you tie fiance then you replace it with uh, that just worked i think okay maybe it's in the does cafe work no cafe doesn't work i think fiance is already in this script fiance there we go fiance is already in the script that's why i didn't have to add that in but cafe is not so or well, that's something that i can add um cafe to be converted to this cafe right if i go ahead and run it i haven't saved this so i'm going to save it as test script to if i type out cafe i get cafe with e accented all right and of course it's not just the accented words that you can do you can also do special characters such as I'm just going to copy these over copyrights registered trademark and trademark so if i go ahead and run this and go open parenthesis c close parenthesis and space i get that r gives me registered trademark and tm gives me trademark so if you use these special symbols a lot, then this is going to be useful. And then I can also do bullet points. Now, sometimes on site, and if you haven't set it up, so um, what's going to happen is some of these special symbols are going to turn out to be question marks. And that's obviously not very useful. If you do get a question mark, then what you can do is go to file and change the encoding to utf-8 with bum all right let me just override that again so um if you change the encoding then it's, it's going to show you the special character as it is um i've also got some arrow signs let me just bring them over also got some arrow signs here so let me go ahead and run this and um, how do I reproduce the the bullet point? So, okay. So if I type the star sign out and hit tab, if I enter the star sign and hit tab, that gets converted into bullet point. And that gives me a right arrow. And this gives me a left arrow. And these two are hot keys and not hot strings i think that was i think that was because i couldn't figure out how to show an upward facing arrow um in this manner using these other special keys so 
um, if you go alt up then it gives me the up arrow and alt down gives me the down arrow um, but that's one way that you can enter in the special keys that are not usually available on normal keyboards now what I'm gonna do is uh, before we end the tutorial I'm just gonna quickly show you that you can also run programs and run subroutines using hot, hot strings alright let me go ahead and show you and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it so they so that if I type out the at sign and Chrome then run Chrome exe I'm also gonna make one for uh, calculator if I type out at sign calculator then going to open up calculator for me so let me go ahead and type a at sign and chrome and that is going to open up chrome for me and if I go at sign and calc then that's going to open up calculator for me and next up what I'm gonna do is okay I'm just gonna go ahead and create a random subroutine by going high then it's the same logic as launching programs um, in in the above commands but the only difference is that I'm gonna make it go sub and, and uh, go to a sub that I'm going to create down here which is just like a label or function and go message box you just ran my subroutine right and hit return so what this is going to do is if I type out hi and press enter this time because I don't have a star sign in between the columns press enter then it's going to run my subroutine which shows me the message box now uh, this is it for this video I have saved this script or everything that I've written out in my website so just go to juho lee.com archive auto key and hit the drop down and look for hot strings part one and the script will be there thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video